What can people expect from you when they listen to you do your podcast? I mean, they obviously everybody was listening to you when you were doing radio a few years ago because you have done it all. I want to know what you missed about it most. I know you just alluded to it, but I want to know if you could elaborate on what you missed about it most and what do you find yourself doing now with this podcast that you may not have done when you were hosting your own radio show a few years ago? The best example I can give is like we had it was really cool last year during the playoffs. Uh, we had Patrick Beverly come on. You know Patrick. He's he's his stories of his awesome. Yes, I do. Came out the mud. Came out the mud, as they say, right? Didn't wasn't a five star guy. Didn't have the path that, that some others had, but he made it. And when we talked to him mm-hmm. after he got his, you know, got the bag and got that big contract, and um, we got going and we're talking for a few minutes. And I said, all right, my final question. And Patrick, he was like. Oh, he was offended. He's like, final question. He's like, man, I drove down out the hills to talk to you today. And I started laughing. I realized, you know, <laughs> five minutes, that's, that's not worth it. That's not worth the drive. So I think what, what, what I want to do is really get into stuff. You know, you start talking to Patrick where television doesn't allow us to talk about overseas, talk about being, you know, maybe overlooked, slept on, however you want to put it, you know, and really talk about getting to the point where he is now. Uh, he was a great example of somebody. We must have talked for 15, 20 minutes, but on Sports Center, we got, you know, got to maybe the best five or six minutes. Well, I want, to, I want people to hear all of it, the goods, the bad, you know, really exploring the conversation that, that, that you can have with someone that's really interesting like him. Um, and maybe, like, maybe I'll talk to a, a musician. Maybe it's somebody that's totally off the beaten path. Could, maybe it's an actor. Maybe it's a musician. Maybe it's an author. I, I don't know. But, but podcasts give you that latitude to really talk to people that, that interest you, people who inspire you, um, that you can, you know, keep your listener company when they're, they're on the train driving to work or, you know, putting the kid, after they put the kids to bed at night, whenever they can find you. Uh, and I laugh, Stephen. I mean, like the world needs another podcast. God knows everybody's got one, you know. But <laughs> I just threw my hat in the right. ring. It's interesting you said that. We're talking to the great Scott Van Pelt right here with Stephen A. on the Stephen A. Smith Show, ESPN Radio, ESPN News, because you give commentary on Sports Center as well. You don't just do a good job hosting, a great job hosting it and doing interviews and going over highlights, but you also provide some commentary as well. I find that the commentary that I give on the radio, which basically comes extemporaneously, I mean, it comes off the cuff most of the time. I'm no, you know, you know the information and you just reacting to it, responding to it, and then you just spew your spiel on it. That actually helps me when I go on first take. Do you anticipate that doing the podcast will make you even better if that's imaginable? That it'll make you even better at hosting Sports Center once you get back into the world of audio? I think so, and it's kind of you to say it. I mean, I think there's no question, Stephen A., that that doing radio helped me figure out how to tighten up my chops on television, and then the mm-hmm. the ability to, to like to talk about them on television, get, and then think, okay, well, when I have room, then I'll take it back over to a place where I've got more room. I mean, all I did on on my first podcast really was talk about the national title game, talk about Ed Ogeron, a guy that was was laughed at, was a punchline, people thought he was a clown. But, you know, who's laughing now? He was the perfect guy at the perfect time. Right. And, and I took some of the elements of what happened on SportsCenter to the podcast. There's no question. And, I, and it doesn't surprise me to hear you say what you just said, that, that on, on radio, it's, it helps you be better at first take and vice versa. Um, look, we're all in the content business. And certain, certain lanes require you to provide the content in a different way. And I, and as I've said now several times, I just I missed the, the, the lane where I had all the room I wanted to go. Uh, and it's my hope anyway that that's what happens, that that's, you know, the people know what to, to get. They know what they're going to get from me uh, in one space. Maybe they'll get something a little different um, uh, in the podcast uh, world. So that's my hope anyway. The SV Pod. Scott Van Pelt's new podcast is now available. On his first episode, Scott hears from Tiger Woods, Matthew McConaughey, and Tony Kornheiser. Check out new episodes every Tuesday wherever you listen to his podcast, SV Pod. By the way, on another note, Sports Center. Uh, you've been doing it from Bristol all of these years. You move it to the nation's capital, my man. Tell us about that. I mean, there's Scott Van Pelt in the nation's capital. Why the nation's capital, Scott Van Pelt? And and are we going to see anything different there than we've been seeing in Bristol all of these years? Maybe. Uh, look, you're from New York City, right? I mean, we know that. You're from Hollis, right? Yes. So, when you, so when you can yes, take right. things back from Bristol to, to, to where you're from, uh, that's a that's a beautiful thing to get back because home is home. And I, I've said a million times, Stephen, hey, we're all from somewhere. 
And that's where I'm from. You know, I'm from, I say D.C., just I'm just north of it in Maryland, but, you know, to me, the DMV is all just kind of the same thing. And so, right. you know, I, I asked our bosses if that would be a possibility, and, and they were very gracious to consider it. And so starting next year for football, we'll be back at home. We'll be doing things from there. And, look, I am a, I'm a proud ESPN lifer, and I'm proud of Bristol, and it'll still be uh, Bristol's the home base. But we don't get a chance to, com- to cross paths with as many people in Bristol as we can in Washington, D.C. Let's just be honest about that. There's more right. people who come through. And so my hope is that we can take advantage of who is in D.C. Uh, in terms of sitting down and be face-to-face with some of these athletes where uh, and now we just simply don't have that opportunity. So my hope is that uh, that will lend itself to, to, to more face-to-face time with, with these folks because, as you know, those conversations are just better when you're face-to-face. And I just think the idea of being right. home, man, being close to family, that can only help, you know, your soul, man, make you a happier human being. And so that's uh, – I'm really, really grateful that they were willing to give me that opportunity, and we're going to try to, you know, continue to elevate and, and magnify the stories and try to lift them up and, and do, do, our, do it the way we do it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.